Hello traders out there in trader land. My name's Dez here at Grok Trade and it's Wednesday, February 23rd, 2011 and the markets take another one on the chin. We have the Dow down 0.9%, 0.6% on the S&P and the NASDAQ down 1.2%. That's huge. And the Russell's down almost a one and a half percent. Banks drop 0.8%. VIX up another 6%. Gold up almost a full percent. US dollar down. We also had crude oil up 3.4%. Crude hits $100 today. Sparking a sell off yet again. Here we are looking at the S&P daily. Yesterday, wow, I mean, today we're on the hills of the biggest drop we've had in three months, and we made a lower high, lower low. We are now below the 20-day moving average, but we are at a trend line. Let me show you this going back some time here. This goes back to September, and we come up here and find nice support here in November. We bring this up. I know there's a lot of lines here. Bear with me. And that's right where we're at here. So we did get a, a bounce off of the 1300. We went down and did a touch and go right back up. But we are in a defined down lay. We're starting to drop below the zero line here on the MACD. The question is, is, can we find some buoyancy at that trend line? Will we get a bounce? Will we get a, a, a candlestick reversal pattern? And if not, it could get hairy and fast. This this candlestick could get dwarfed by another one, breaking through a lot of resistance. So make sure your stop losses are in place. But, hey, <laughs> POMO is still in place. The QE2, quantitative easing, uh, second version, is still in full effect. And we are, or the Fed, buying up a lot of government bonds uh, nearly every day. And we have some big purchases coming up in the very near future here. So I'm expecting that to help the markets, especially if the U.S. dollar continues to drop like we're seeing. Now, tomorrow, we do have some pre-market news coming out. We have durable orders coming out. We also have initial claims coming out. We also have new home sales reporting at 10 uh, both initial claims durable um, orders will uh, be disclosed one hour before the markets open. New home sales will uh, be reported a half hour after the market opens. But then we have the huge second estimate GDP coming out pre-market on Friday, two days from now. We will all be watching that. So for those that are buying the dips, look for a great opportunity tomorrow to pick up some longs. And if, But if we start blasting through, especially if we get below 1300 careful buying anything under 1300 That is your warning. Get the very best technical analysis here at Grok Trade. Continue your tomorrow <laughs> by being an educated trader. Help, we can help you along. Take care and safe trading to each and every one of you.